Yo, this is the time of place, Pokemon Shining Pearl. So, we have now concluded all that there is to do in the Battle Zone storyline and exploration wise. But there are more parts that were not available to explore in the original game before you beat the Pokemon League. And what am I talking about? Well, first of all, let's start flying. We're gonna go somewhere else. So, we're gonna go here, and then here. The Pokemon League and the Victory Road. So you see, this part we know, but the part here, Route 224, this part was unavailable to explore because there was a guy blocking the path until you beat the Pokemon League. Now we got to beat the Pokemon League, we are going to explore. So let's go to the Pokemon League right now. We're not gonna go to the Pokemon League and fight it though. We are not even near ready for that because the Pokemon League. Uh, Lead 4 members are much stronger now, we don't have a chance, we will get beaten quickly. And if you think uh, Garchomp from Cynthia was bad in the original one, imagine Cynthia's Garchomp becoming even stronger now, in the 80s. Yeah, in the 80s. I'll probably do the Pokemon League round 2 last. Let's go down this waterfall. Go down here so we can enter the victory road once again. I'm gonna use the max repel. Then we use the rock climb. I can't remember where the area was. This one. Let's see. I'm gonna go down here and then let's I just need to remember where it was. Oh yeah, now I remember. So I think it's gonna be up here, then you go up this rock right here. No, 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 no. I always forget about this one. Uh, sorry, I forget there's a stair path just behind this guy. Here we go. Then we can go here behind here. Now, now remember, there was a guy blocking the path here last time we were here because we can't go here until we beat the Pokemon League. We've done that now, let's go inside. What do we find? Not much here. What about here? Whoa! I can't see a thing! But luckily, we do have Flash. Or not Flash, but we have Defog. Which is sort of the new version of Flash. There we go. Who are you? I'm Marley. And you are... I see, Satano. Will you help me, please? I want to get through this tunnel. Will you let me go with you? I guess we will. This is Marley, so she'll be our tag team partner here in this uh, area here of the uh, of this place here. So this is the place we want to go to if we want to go to the eastern part. So we're gonna be fighting some trainers for sure, but don't worry about it. Uh, let's see. The first thing we want to do is to go up here, I think. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of double battles, but don't worry much about it. So, Boulder, and we're going to first of double battles for today. I will win! I am sure of it! Therefore, you will lose! Being this tough isn't good enough. You have to look cool while doing it. Mastering it, that makes you an ace. Yes, 
That's one of the reasons why the cool trainers become ace trainers. They weren't just cool, they were great. Oh, look at that. They have six Pokemon. Three each. Pachirisu and Bibarel. So we have a normal water dual type and we have a electric type squirrel. So Pachirisu is one of those Pokemon that feels you get an evolutional form. It's kind of sad he doesn't have it. It's kind of cool that Marley though is using an Arcanine. Arcanine, the big dog from Generation 1, which also got a new. Um, had new forms in uh, the history region where it was a fire and rock type. Alright, so let's see. First things first. Um, Bibarel is weak to uh, electric. Let's use that. Helping hand from Arcanine, which means our power of sparks will increase. Here comes Spark. And Bibarel is going to go down. Pretty easy. So we're level 66 now on uh, Luxury plus 4 attack. Wow. Here comes Charm. Oh boy, that's bad. Charm reduces attack power by 2. Here comes Beauty Fly. Next Pokemon up from uh, the Ace Trainer. Beauty Fly, Bug, and Flying Dual type. Little change. Let's use uh, Medicham, I think. Medicham. Arcanine will he do? Burn up! Ooh, that's a nice move. It's effective as well on to Beautifly. Should we use Swift? Swift is a normal type move which is guaranteed to hit. He has multiple targets in multi battles as well. Let's use Drain Punch on uh, Pachirisu. Helping hand, Markinite. Means we get uh, bonus damage and output. Strain Punch on um, Pachirisu to get a 1 KO. Yeah. Pachirisu is sort of like a one stage evolution in terms of size, but it doesn't have an evolutional form, which is kind of bad. Next up is Inferno from Rapidash, but it's going to miss. That's good. Azumarill is next now from uh, this trainer. Azumarill dual type water and fairy dual type. I'm going to go for my luck now. Use high jump kick on Rapidash. That's my hit. It's going to be a KO on Rapidash. That's good. Risky move, but very high payout. Can I use Howl? Howl is a stat boosting at a stat thing to increase attack power for both itself and team members. Azumarill will play rough. Super effective on uh, Medicham because it's weak to Fairy. No more Pokemon left for uh, the Azumarill. Can use Psychic now on Azumarill. Helping hand from Arcanine. Very good uh, tag team uh, build up for this Arcanine. Psyche comes out. Good damage. Aqua Tail. Aqua Tail is a good uh, physical water move, but Azumarill doesn't really have very high uh, physical attack power. That's why the, uh, the Aqua Tail, despite being super effective, doesn't really do much against, uh, against Arcanine. Psyche number two will hit, and Azumarill goes down. Last Pokemon out is Blissey. Oh yeah, we love Blissey, don't we? Oh, of course we do. It's sad we can't rematch this trainer though, which is kind of sad. Because you can't rematch trainers inside caves, I think. It's kind of sad. Because it will be lovely to fight the Blissey again. But yeah, you can only rematch trainers, I think, in the open world. Not in, the, in dungeons. Which is sad. I wouldn't mind to fight this Blissey over and over again. Full HP because Blissey has so much HP that even a small drain punch will heal up to full. And we get 6,500 XP on Medicham. Damn! Level up a Medicham, Rapidash, and Staraptor. Pretty good. One more level for Staraptor and he's level 70. 
But this is impossible. It made me look bad. Well, I thought you guys were all looking cool. I thought you were the cool trainer is all about. Maybe I missed the cool factor. Ish. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, there are more tra trainers to use up in the north as well. I think I'm just gonna go here instead. Go up here. Marley? Following? There we go. Yeah, sometimes these, these trainers can get a bit stuck. It's a bit of a labyrinth, this place. Yeah, we're running in circles now as well. Might be place to get some item finder stuff here though. Which might be a reason why people might want to go here first, but I think this is just a dead end. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, let's go back now. Marley! I get stuck. Okay, screw you, Marley. <laughs> I wonder if she gets permanent stuck. There's more rocks to move. To move them, just move. Let's go around and move left and right. And fight more trainers. Hopefully, Maul is with me now, even though she's stuck back there, but I think she's still with us. I hope. Marley, are you here? Oh, yeah, you are. Good thing. Haha. <laughs> Okay, we got two psychics there. Desiree and Landon. With Mr. Mime and Kadabra. So both of them are psychic type, but Mr. Mime is now also a fairy type. Which means Mr. Mime no longer has a weakness to dark types. But instead it's got other weaknesses as well. So he won't. It's now also weak to poison and steel. Let's do crunch on to the Kadabra. Here's how from my Arcanine. Increasing attack power by one for both me and itself. Crunch on Kadabra. Kadabra is one of the most weak Pokemon uh, defense wise, so even a crunch of non dark types is easily a KO on the Kadabra. This time we use Psychic. Takes damage, but not too much. Another Kadabra now, again, two Kadabras. Interesting. Well, I can do it again, no problem. Helping hand. Won't really be needed. But hey, if we just want to overwhelm our opponents, I guess we can just do it twice. Kadabra, number two, goes down as well. Critical hit. Imagine if you could see the damage numbers in this game. That would have been a massive damage takeout for, for Kadabra. Psychic on Arcanine this time. Not too much. No more Pokemon from this guy, that's fine. We just might use your Spark now because Crunch doesn't have any bonus. I got Hal again. This Marley likes to be a supporting Pokemon, even though Arcanine I would kind of consider to be more of an offensive threat, but I guess he can build up to be a good support Pokemon too. Spark used and Mr. Mime gets a 1 AK because of Double Hull. Yeah, that's a lot of extra attack power. 67 Luxray and 68 Empoleon with more stat boosts. Did I get to show you anything? Anything at all? Oh! She's stuck again. She is so stucky stuck. Let's see, do you want to get these items? You can. We can get them both though. Cause, yeah, we don't think we can get them both because if you move the rock up top, you'll lose the upper one. If you move it to the right, you'll move, lose the other one. Let's take that one first. I 
Dusk Stone. And the Illusion of Stone, which causes a certain Pokemon to evolve. Very important. A double battle, let's go. I trained all my gnarly Pokemon at the Fighting Dojo in Kanto. What it means to battle its joys, its sorrows. I've experienced it all. Well then, show me what you got. Face off against Black Belt Eddie and Veteran Terrell. With Machoke and Cricketune. Interesting combination. So Machoke, Fighting type, Cricketune, Bug type. Which is uh, pretty cool. Double Intimidate as well. Both Arcanine and Luxury has Intimidate, so I mean, attack power reduction for both will go down by two. So Luxray, you can use uh, Spark on Cricketer. Leer. They reduce the defense status of both Pokemon on the opposite side. My moves with even harder now. And we see one Spark takes down the Cricketer in a single hit. Probably the layer that helped to get the more damage output. Talk with revenge. Doesn't do much damage. Here comes Quagsire. Quagsire, normal and ground dual type, so it's immune to electric. You see no effect there on the spark. Go burn up. On Quagsire. Doesn't really do much damage though, because Quagsire is resistant to fire as a water type. Wow, wanted KO on the matchup with Spark. That's pretty interesting. The Leer helps, for sure. Muddy Water is gonna miss on Luxray. And missing on Arc 9 as well. Damn. That's unfortunate. Well, speaking about Machoke, here's his evolutional form, Machamp. Boy, oh boy. Let's go Crunch then on Quagsire. When Leer comes out, that means Quagsire's defense goes down to minus. To minus one, and so is my champ because both of them were not here in the first layer. And the crunch takes down the quagsire. Watch out with dynamic punch. That's a hard hitting move, but it has a low accuracy. If it does hit, it will also cause confusion. So, lucky uh, my champ. Oh boy, Gengar. Gengar, dual type, ghost, and poison from generation 1. It means it's weak to dark. Let's use that. Crunch! Yeah, easy 1 8 KO. Gengar doesn't really have a lot of defensive powers. But it does have uh, Cursed Body ability though, which causes the opponent's used move against it to be disabled. Can't use it twice in a row. Not really worried about that though, because I won't really use Crunch against the fighting type. Fighting types are resistant to dark. That's why. The Night Punch again, this time on Luxray. That means now both Luxray and Arcanine are confused. Both. This will be interesting. Let's go with Spark then on Machamp. Arcanine is confused. And it will help with the Helping Hand. Question is though, will the Helping Hand will help Luxray, who is also confused? It will. Spark comes out. One hit KO on the Machamp! Wow! Didn't expect that. But the Helping Hand is a big boost of power. Layer helps as well. That's why the Machamp got totally taken out. Against this Black Belt and Veteran. Let's do one more double battle then. Sharp vision of my bird puck when you'll see it through your weakness. Learning how to manage tough Pokemon is the shortcut of getting tough. Yeah, yeah, that's a point. No, not a bird keeper and dragon tamer, Autumn and Joe. With Murkrow and Gabite. So Murkrow, dual type dark and flying. Gabite, dual type ground and dragon. It's an interesting combination. So, Gabite has a four time weakness to ice. And the Murkrow is weak to a lot of things. For example, it's weak to ice and flying and rock, as well as fairy. Let's use Spark on Murkrow. There we go. 
Murko is not that hard to beat though. It's more his evolution form, Honshko, which is much more nasty Pokemon. And our first 70 Pokemon is in our league. It is Roserade. As of our own Pokemon, of course. Not the Pokemon that we used in the league. Burn up on Gabite. Pretty good damage, but not too much. Doesn't really do much damage because Dragon types are resistant to uh, fire. Here is Honshkrow as well. The evolved form of uh, Murkrow. Murkrow is generation 2, while Honshkrow is generation 4. Lear comes out. He's not gonna hit Kabite because he's dead on the ground. Honshkrow will take the hit though. And here comes Spark as well. And the Honshkrow is gonna get a KO from that. So Honshkrow is out. And now, Kabite comes out with Dig on. Luxray. Super effective, but it's a bit of a level difference here, so that's why. Let's go with Crunch on Gibite. Lear from Arcanine. I mean that Gibite will now have reduced defense. Crunch will now have more power from it. That's gonna KO the Gibite. But what less po other Pokemon will we see? Level 67 on Medicham, that's pretty good. Now comes Gyarados, oh boy. Gyarados is normally a very intimidating Pokemon, as you can see with the Intimidate ability as well. But Gyarados will look at Luxray and cry itself, asking for mercy. Because Spark is gonna be due. Let's put up a layer as well, just to make sure that this Gyarados is gonna take a beating of a lifetime. And Gyarados, goodbye. Four time weakness electric, no chance. You are down and out. And Luxray is 68. Don't you have an Achilles heel? I lost, but how is that possible? Oh, I guess everything is possible. Anyway, um, we're not done yet, but we can't we continue more. We are now over time. Next episode, we're going to continue here on the bonus section of the Victory Road, which is only available after you beat the Pokemon League. Then we're going to explore the route that comes in the outdoors, see what we can find there, and then we're going to continue our journey in the post game, see what we can find, and more importantly, what other Pokemon can we find too, because some of them are only available in the post game, and we want to take a look which one those are. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. I'll see you next time as my journey in Pokemon Shining Pearl continues.